In this lecture, we are going to learn how to position our elements and space them out so that the web page looks better than just a bunch of random elements thrown on the page. Our first step will be to position the logo and the website title or website name to be right next to each other in the top left hand corner. So let's jump into our HTML and let's change our paragraph to first off be the default font size. I don't want it to be huge anymore. I'm just going to keep it at a small regular font size. Then let's say we want to put the logo and the paragraph next to each other. To do this, we can put the image and the paragraph into a container so they are grouped together. For that, we use an HTML element known as a div, opening and closing. The content put into a div will be considered a group. So we have now grouped them together. So a div is like a box. Then you can give this div a unique identifier because likely you'll have a lot of divs. So let's call this logo and title. So that will be the name of our div. Then let's change the display of this div so that instead of putting each element one after the other vertically, we put each element one after the other horizontally so they'll be side by side. For this we have to use CSS. So let's jump into the CSS tab and let's apply a style onto the logo and title ID. On the logo and title I'm going to change the display property to flex. The default display for a div is block, which means each element is considered a block taking up 100% of its parent's width. But if you change display to flex, it means you now have a flexible display. A display flex by default puts elements side by side because the default flex direction is row. You can change the flex direction to column if you want to have a flexible display, but put the elements stacked vertically. But by default, elements will be stacked horizontally. So we already have the two elements side by side. Next up, let's go ahead and put the amazing product paragraph into the center vertically. For that, I'm going to align all the items inside of the div to be center. So now this means that the alignment is going to vertically align all the elements on this center line. So now we have amazing product and we can see that it is right beside the image and it's centered vertically. Awesome. So we've been able to do some display changes, some positioning change. Now let's say we want to have the navigation or all of these links to be in the top right hand corner because that is a typical outline. You'll typically see the company logo and the company title on the upper left and then navigation in the upper right, although of course it can vary. But that is a very popular standard for websites so users expect and are familiar with that. So let's rearrange our HTML elements to put all of our anchor tags or navigation in the upper right. The first thing we should do is we should group the navigation so that way we can treat them as a group. So I'm going to put the anchor tags into what's known as a nav tag, opening and closing. This is an HTML tag that represents navigation. So HTML should clearly define what elements are. So if possible, you want to use elements like nav to say to the search engine and to the website that this content is for navigation. It's not just a random image or a random piece of text. It actually is for navigation. So that's why we use the nav tag instead of just a regular div to group these elements. All right, so here we have the nav tag. Let's apply styling to that nav tag. 
So I'm going to go into CSS. And for the navigation, I want to use the exact same technique. I want to display the navigation all on one row, which currently it is already doing. So if we add nav, again, it's not going to do much of a change. It's just going to squeeze all of the elements, the anchor tags together, and then you can space them out after, which we will do. So we don't really need to add nav here. But how do we put the anchor tags right up next to the product image and the logo, the logo and title? Well, the answer is we have to take this group, this nav that we just grouped, and we have to put it into a group with the logo and the title. So in our HTML, we actually have to build another group to store all of the elements that we want at the top of the web page. This top of the web page is often known as a header. So let's put the two groups into a tag known as the header. Again, you want to use tags that define what elements are wherever possible. So that's why instead of using a div, which is a generic group, we use a specific group that says this content is going to be the header of the web page. The header is typically what is at the top. So now we have a header and we can actually take the header element and we can set its display to flex. So let's add the header. You can just add it with a comma which means that it's going to have the same exact styling. So you can apply the same styling to multiple elements like this. So now let's take a look at what happened in our web page. So now look at that. Our navigation was able to jump right up there to be at the top of the page. So awesome, we have the navigation added. But the navigation now looks a bit strange. It looks like it's all clumped together. So what we want to do is take the navigation group and also make its display to be flex. So now all of the anchor elements are next to each other. They're not as squished together. They're still a little bit squished together, but we are going to apply padding or spacing shortly. Right now they're squished together, but we can leave that and fix it later. Okay, so we have our display changed, the display type, on the logo and title, on the header, and on the nav. Let's think about what else we might want to put side by side. How about this title, Amazing Opportunity, and then this smaller title, which we can change to a description. Okay, we can take this text and put it right beside the larger product image that we have. So let's change this to a description. This is a great product that you can buy now. So this is just a description. Let's take this text and let's put it beside our product image. So the first thing we have to do is we have to think about groups. So the text will stay vertically stacked. So we want to put it into its own group. Otherwise, it will be horizontally stacked if we try to put all the text in a group directly with the image. We want the text to stay vertically stacked, so that's why we put it into its own div. But we want to horizontally stack the text with the image. So I'm going to create another div. It's like nesting dolls. We can create divs inside of divs to separate our content. So now we have a div and let's give it the ID of intro and main image. So now we have a div that contains a div plus the image. So let's apply horizontal stacking on this div. So in the CSS we can just add the div to our list. We have to reference the div by its ID intro and main image because it's not an HTML element like header or nav, it's an ID. So look at this, now we have our text, amazing opportunity, and this is a great product that you can buy now, and it's horizontally stacked with the product image. 
And we can change this from a heading three to a heading or to a heading one, that from a heading two to a heading one, so that will be a bit larger. And then we can change the description to a paragraph if we want it to be a bit smaller. So this is a very common theme format for a web page, especially for something like a landing page or a product page where you have the company logo and name at the top left, you have navigation at the top right, then you have some introductory text and perhaps a button as well to go to another page or an input field for users to sign up with their email. And then you have the product image. So you've already been able to build out a website that follows a common theme that web developers use. Learning how to position items is key to building out websites. Typically, you want to start positioning and aligning items after you've already put all the items on the page, because whenever you add a new item, the alignment has potential to change. All right, so that is how you can use HTML to position items on your web page, which is key to building a good user experience and making your website look good. Coming up next, we are going to learn how to add spacing to our elements. So that way we have more padding on the page. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.